As war was raging all across Europe, with both sides trying to outmaneuver the other in territorial games on the continent, it became increasingly important to intercept the enemy's communications and to keep one's own secure. As is famously known, the German Enigma machine was the crypto system used by the Axis powers in communications starting from the mid-1930s. Adapted from the commercial Enigma A26, the military Enigma was sufficiently complex as to be thought unbreakable by Hitler's high command, an attitude maintained until the end of the war. While the Enigma was successfully broken by mathematicians working for the Polish Cipher Bureau as early as 1932, the addition of two more coding wheels meant that additional work needed to be done during the war that built on the work of the Polish. Poor operational procedures from German regimental officers and civilian agencies allowed for the eventual reverse engineering of the ciphers at Bletchley Park. Perhaps less known by history is how the Allied forces were keeping their communications encrypted. The British had their own adaptation of the Enigma, called the Typex, almost exactly copying the commercial Enigma, along with some modifications. The main difference was the irregular motor movement, compared to the Enigma's predictable and infrequent movements, with each rotor containing irregularly spaced indents that would also turn the neighbouring rotor. This completely eliminated patterns in ciphertext, which was the main weakness of the Enigma. The great irony of this was that some modifications were unused patterns from the original Enigma design. Most Enigma machines needed two operators one to input text to the machine, and another to copy down onto paper the inciphered or deciphered characters as the first operator called them out. Typex only required a single operator, and also completely removed the chance of copying errors as the inciphered or deciphered text was automatically printed on paper tape. Furthermore, while Enigma messages needed to be written, inciphered, and manually transmitted by Morse, Typex messages were typed, inciphered, and transmitted all in one step. It was these inconveniences that caused German operators to start cutting corners and fall into lazy operating habits. Regarding the Typex, seven separate iterations were developed during the years to 1945, each making minor security and portability improvements, with an estimated 12,000 Typex machines having been built by the end of the war. Of greater interest is what was used by the United States, since this was an even larger deviation from the Enigma design. The ECM Mark II, called Sagaba by the US Army, was the main crypto system used through the Second World War and during the early years of the Cold War up to the late 1950s. The letters were not selected by rotors that turned between one letter and the next, rather another bank of rotors, called the control rotors, was used to determine which of the cipher rotors would advance. This meant that just like the Typex machines, any rotor could move at any time, although some moved more often than others. A third bank of five ten contact rotors, called index rotors, acted as stators that never moved during encipherment. The stators created a complex electrical maze for signals to travel through. The outputs from control rotors were connected to the inputs of the index rotors, and subsequently those outputs were connected together in five pairs, providing the electrical signals that controlled the advancement of the cipher rotors. Over 5,000 machines were deployed by 1943, and well over 10,000 by the end of the war. They were incredibly bulky and fragile, making them near impossible to use in the field, and so were mainly confined to command centres, which was actually an advantage since it was difficult to capture them for study. A more intriguing part in the history of both of these machines was how the Allied nations sent messages to each other while using different machines. From 1943, the Americans and the British agreed upon a combined cipher machine. Both the Typex and the Sagaba could be adapted by replacing the rotors with an attachment supplied by the NSA. The CCM was initially used on a small scale for naval use from the 1st of November 1943, becoming operational on all US and UK armed services in April 1944. German codebreakers had no success with the Allied systems, despite being able to capture a Typex machine at Dunkirk during the Battle of France. The machines were retired during the 1950s by the Americans and the British as they became difficult to keep oiled and well maintained, although the New Zealand military were using Typex until around 1973. While perhaps not as well appreciated by history, they will always be an important part of the Allied war effort. The fact that they were never cracked during their time of operation is a testament to the outstanding work of engineers and mathematicians across international borders.